So we connect this and now you see this because this comes off the ring you require to have we don't try and force anything in. So you prepare this kind of a thing to hold these rods wherever they come. Okay? So you have this is part of the proximal construct. So to connect this and this you require these plates. Now these plates should be parallel to each other. They shouldn't be like this or like this. So to do, do that, one way to do it is to hold a long rod and tighten. While you are holding it, you ask your assistant to tighten it. Real, more tight, more tight. That be really tight. <coughs> It has still shifted. Can you see that gap there? Yeah. Just loosen it, do it again. Now you know that to get the uh, hinges working smoothly they have to be in the same plane and just like you did for the oblique plane turning the hinges through 90 degrees the same principle will apply over here. First step of course is to see that everything is at least finger tight. Is there a scale out here? Yeah. No, no, I, I got one. Then confirm that the length is correct. Okay? So from there to the center of the hinge here is 11.5. So that is 11. That is also 11.5. So once I know that this distance is right, then with everything finger tight, now you can see that these these two hinges are not in the same plane. But the moment I turn it into 90, they become into the same plane. So once it's like that, tighten this part a little bit. Then every nut on this assembly has to be made really tight so that you don't keep so this turning it through 90 degrees forces your hinge even if it is slightly off right the moment you turn it into 90 that hinge becomes in the same plane and this bolt and that bolt come into the same line now just hold it like that you tighten down every nut on this assembly and this will ensure that the hinges remain
okay and then of course you confirm that this is moving freely that tells me that the uh, whole assembly is made well now i know that the deformity is 20 degrees so i fix this at i fix this at 20 degrees udhar awaz nahi aa rahi the remaining part of the assembly is the same thing what i told you yesterday you have um, you have a hexagonal uh, threaded socket j connection j connection with an arch so initially this you leave it loose adjust it so this you have done already so what is really the important part is this now after this is complete then you go to the patient and put this on to the patient and see now in our case what we will do is <coughs> we'll put it on the so when the center bolts are lined up okay then you see where the hinge axis comes okay and you see where this center bolt is i told you yesterday that these center bolts come on the mechanical axis okay i am not able to see it. if if it's not on the center you just tell me it is this this right and this one is also on the center so this is now fitting well and the moment i make both of these rings parallel if i fix it properly to the femur that hinge is that is going to come straight so now we i measure it with a goniometer put it at 20 degrees and keep it like that i also confirm it by putting it on the x ray and see that it is perfectly like that we start using from here now for example if i when i had put the wire in earlier i found that this hinge was still coming a little higher i wanted it a little lower so what i did was i take the wire onto the upper side of the ring okay so so that is parallel to the the first reference wire at the level of the adductor tubercle is parallel to the loose thing thoda sa piche ye the aur jaldi piche ho jata hai ho jao then keeping two finger press we fix it we fix the distal ring to the reference wire once i have done that i can keep two fingers over here and <coughs> with an assistant holding i can put in one wire to basically suspend the frame this is not putting the bone putting the bone yeah i am because i am working on this bone over here so they would